Well, hello everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here. Today is a special day, nonetheless, as we're going to continue our Pokemon Black Nuzlocke. And I am not excited. I'm excited for this episode, but I'm also not excited to do it. Ah, oh, screw. So, uh, I trained up Grumpy Lumps, right? Well, he, as you know, he's not on the squad. And you're like, why? You trained him up. Well, I was, you probably already commented, or somebody already commented, but I went to go add him to the layout, right? And I typed in shiny paladon because i was like okay we have shiny paladon and it looked completely different well i didn't know but our shiny although you guys didn't take it away from me the lock took it away from me because it was not a shiny it's a variant of a paladon with it being a variant of a Powdon, a normal variant, Shiny Claws, unfortunately, does not come into effect. And considering that if Shiny Claws would have came into effect, right, it would have still been fine. We would have been fine, and we would have been able to add him to the squad because we sacrificed our Mistralton Cave Encounter. Or not our Mistralton Cave Encounter, our, um... Charge stone cave encounter so that you know we could get this and then we get hit with the it's not so the way we have to do this now is that we have to release hip out on from our PC so all that three hours in training literally means nothing Three hours spent training this Hippowdon for this to mean nothing after I went to put him in. It sucks. It really does. But it happens when you're not... I know, I, in, I know I'm making a game, but I'm not like looking into all the shiny variants and blah, 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 blah. I know I have shiny chances in my game. It's 1 in 8,192. But I totally thought we had it, and we didn't. So that's unfortunate because that means that we do have to, unfortunately, release Hippowdon. Which I don't really want to do. I mean, I love Grumpy Lumps so much. I mean, I know we had people excited about Grumpy Lumps. But, well, we can't do anything with Grumpy Lumps. So we have to release them. So, Grumpy Lumps, you didn't learn anything in the 20 levels that I had to train you. But, have fun in the wild where you belong. Bye, Grumpy Lumps. It's unfortunate. We did make sure he had no items, so that's we're fine there, but I don't know about you, but that's aggravating to me. Oh wow, we got teleport. Freaking That is our luck. It's supposed to be brick break, which is fine, but yeah, no. No. Oh, it's sunny in the game. Whoa, it's actually nice outside. That's crazy. Okay, anyway, we have to spend money on Hyper Potions again, because, you know, I used some to train up. Long story short, make sure that, you know, you're good in the regard. What else, what, what TMs did you have? I know you had TMs. You have Synchronize, V-Create, and Circle Throw. That's right, you don't have really moves that I would like. V-Create, Physical, so it doesn't help. But anyway, I know I didn't go through Team Recap. I'm just going to go up here, go through the Team Recap real quick. And we'll start with Szechuan. Szechuan is our level 43 type Flosion, Fire type, holding the leftovers with Eruption, Blaze Kick, Surf, and Fusion Flare. Then we have Scarlet, our calm natured um, Star Raptor, with Strength, Hyper Fang, Fly, and Sharpen. And then we have Braxton, our jolly natured Meganium, level 44, holding the Miracle Seed with Sleep Powder, Attack Order, Bullet Seed, and Crushed Claw. Then we have Arceus the God, our ghost type. Arceus with Facade, Fake Out, Shadow Punch, Bubble Beam. And then we have Shirley, Naughty Nature, Togs Croak with the aim of the coin because she wants to get rich quick. Holt with Low Kick, Rock Throw, Cross Poison, jump, High Jump Kick. And finally, we have Callum, the new addition to our squad, holding the experience share because I didn't want to train up another Pokemon for three hours. And I feel like our team is set as is, and you know. Our level limit's 49, so it's the best way to not run into level limit problems. 
Um, because I know that we have a lot going on. So you have Rock Blast, Belly Drum, Sand Tomb, and Head Smash. And that's our team. Um, I don't know what Callum can learn. We can see kind of what TMs Callum will learn. Because there are definitely moves that we need to get rid of. Like, a lot of moves that we have to get rid of, honestly. And, Mag like, if you want to learn Magnet Bomb, that'd be great. Because that'd be better than Sand Tomb. Um, you don't want to learn it. Of course you don't. Nobody wants to learn Magnet Bomb, Magnet Bomb and it's annoying. What about attack order? I mean, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure you're not going to want to learn it, but, oh, no, you do. Okay. You can learn that. Um, and head smash is another move that I wouldn't click. So, like, half of these moves I wouldn't click. So, we'll get rid of sand tomb. So, that we can have a, a bug move, I guess, even though, you know, there's no point. Fire spin, payback, teleport, covet, conversion, dragon breath, flail, knockoff. Recycle, Solar Beam, Snarl, Spite, Water Pulse, Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang might be good. If you want to learn that, that'd be great. Yep. We're like, editing your moveset a little bit because it needs to be edited. Um, I'll keep Rock Blast over Head Smash because you have... Wait, what ability do you have? Do you have Rock Head as your ability? I didn't see what your ability was. I should probably check that before I'm like... Oh, you don't want... It. If it's Rockhead, then I'll keep it. Lightning Rod. Okay, yeah, no. I'm getting rid of it. So we have Belly Drum. It's already a move that will pretty much do that same thing. It'll drop our health to help us. And, well, I will probably give you Citrus Berries, Callum, just so that you're not, like... So you can easily kind of Oko things as long. So we got rid of Head Smash for Hyper Fang. That's pretty much all I'm going to do with Callum right now. Hopefully he'll learn other things while he's in training, I guess, is the word I'm going to use. Can we talk to you still? Probably not. Okay, we're going to Dragon Spiral Tower. Let's head north. We're gonna have stories, so I already know this. Hey, John! Like, oh my gosh! Uh, like, hurry up! Oh, hey, John. And you must be Bianca. I'm the other Professor Juniper. Professor Juniper, you gave, who gave you the Pokedex, is my daughter. Nice to meet you, Professor. Thanks to Professor Juniper, I got on to a journey and start figuring out the possibilities for my life. I am very grateful for her. Like. Thank you so very much. Is that right? Grand, grand. Actually, we should chat later. John, Bianca, here's the situation. Some members of Team Plasma, quite a large group, broke through the tower and went inside. <laughs> Bryson and the young man, that, and that young man, I believe his name was Sharon, the two of them went after Team Plasma, but... Professor, what is the Dragon Spiral Tower? Huh, I guess... You would be curious. I'll explain briefly. Dragon Spiral Tower has stood tall since the, before Zenova was founded. On the top of the floor, the legendary Pokemon waits for a person pursuing ideal tail here. That's what is, was said. Are you going after Team Plasma like your friend did? I admire... I, it's admirable of you to join the fight against Team Plasma, but it's risky too. Don't worry! John and Sharon are both really, really strong! And they've been Team Plasma before! But I'm not strong at all, actually. I admit it. I am not very strong. So I was thinking, like, it would be nice maybe if I could stay here and be your, like, bodyguard. But I'm not strong at all, so I'm a stupid bodyguard. Why, thank you. That makes me feel so much safer. Well, John, it is up to you to climb the tower. This is all I can give you. But it might help you rest. The old Gatal. I have no idea what that does. It's a medicine does something okay wait does that say dry okay i go here it says icarus right icarus city and then i go into here and it pulls up dragon spiral tower so i'm sure that it doesn't change oh wow that was quick we're fight. oh no we didn't have to fight you nice it probably will still say dragon spiral tower unfortunately yeah nope it does not change at all we'll see what kind of encounters were in here and if i would have waited what i would have gotten are you fucking kidding me? Uh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Too freaking soon. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Grumpy Lumps. Oh my god. 
That is annoyingly frustrating. I can't believe my eyes right now. My first in my first encounter in here was a tip. Mm, wow, the first this is the way the game wants to smack me up. It's like, hey, so um yeah, it wasn't a shiny Pokemon. You can go in here and you could have encountered a Hippowdon, and then you wouldn't have had to worry at all about the struggles and stuff that you had to endure by training up this Pokemon for three straight hours. Woohoo! Life. Ah! Uh, why did it have to be my first encounter in this area? Like I am frustrated as all can be. Is, is something going wild on top of the tower? I don't know, narrator. Is there? I think that's the only encounters too. Oh no, there was Glace down here too. I should have waited. I think my encounter he was crap. It was crap diddly. Um, from what I remember, it was crap diddly. Um, can I just? Okay, I'm gonna have to hit. I'm gonna have to hit repels. Oh look, a toxic rook. So yeah, we. The, wow, I am pissed. Bombly pissed that the first encounter was that because okay, it's not that. It's just I'm salty about it. Like really though. John, you can walk on the fallen columns too. I'm going after Team Plasma. You know what I'm also doing is spraying some repels, Sharon. I'm sorry, but I'm doing it. I can't stand. I mean, I got repels for a reason, so I don't know why I haven't been using them. Actually, let's go up, because that's where the repels would be, I would think. Super repels. We have like nine of them, so let's just use them now. Yes, we can walk on these things, as we do know, and, well, the other thing we know is that we can get some stupid items like an eject button. Like, it's fantastic getting stupid items like an eject button. I love getting stupid items like an eject button. Eject buttons are so amazing. Did you not know, like, how great they were? And another spooky plate. That's number three. We got three spooky plates. That is actually insane that there's, we got three of them. Okay, we can do this, 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 we can do Oh! Wait. No, we can't go that way. Darn it! I want the item so bad, 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 bad. I need the item so bad, 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 bad. Like, I care about the item way too much, I feel like. Lapaberry! Yeah, we care about the item way too much. And then we can go down, down, over, down. Repels effect wore off. I don't care. I don't think there's encounters in here anyway. And then we can go up the stairs. Yep. Okay. We're good. We're in here. Who are we leading for this fight? That's a good question that I never thought about. We have Scarlet. I think Braxton is a good lead. I think Szechuan's a pretty good lead. I'm going to go with Szechuan because fire typing is pretty nice. John, we'll hold him here. You go on ahead. This is nothing, but there are sure a lot of them. What? Oh, what a complete bother. And here's our fights. There's a few of them. There's not a lot of bad fights. Bryson and Sharon are moving. Okay. Oh, some plasma take down. You've got one. A dust stock? Way to go with that good lead. You're level 39. Why are you level 39? I trained up to level 43. Uh, actually, no. I was pretty much at level 43. <laughs> I didn't train up to 43. I only trained up Star Raptor to 43, and then I had to train up Hippowdon to 43. That it's so frustrating that I had to train up this Hippowdon that never even got to be used. Callum with 1,002 experience. I mean, I don't trust Callum right now. He's too low a level to be trusted currently. I mean. So that's why I'm XP sharing. And then I'm going to have to train everybody up to 47 or 45. But it's not going to be a hard pass, honestly. You've also got one Pokemon. Talo! Ha ha ha! Dude, these level 39 people are chumps! It's like chump charity up in here. Thank you. Thank you for the chump charity. I really appreciate it. Like 150 base power fire type move? I appreciate being able to kill this Talo in one shot. Bye-bye. We even credit too. 
Szechuan. Callum got 400. I mean, Callum probably could have taken that out, honestly. Um, but it's better just to be safe than sorry. I just, I don't know. I have the experience share on Callum. Um, I will probably, I will have to take it off if we get into trouble with, um, leveling up. Uh, you also have one chump. Oh, you're not a chump mon. You're a bikini. Okay, that's better. But, we do have surf, so have fun. I love the fact that Szechuan has surf, because it's like, oh, a fire type's out here? Well, I'm sorry. Have fun with the surf. Take it. Take it with a grain of salt. I just don't want you. And so Bikini is going to not get O-Code, but we're going to get slammed. And that's going to do nothing. That's like, yeah, 20. Not even 20 points of damage. 19 points of damage. And we're killing this Bikini with the Surf. And Bikini is going to give a lot of experience. So that is good. I think Callum can level up pretty pretty easily. I think once Callum gets to like 35, I'll trust Callum. Um, a little bit more, I guess. Um... We exist to serve our Lord N. Well, I mean, <laughs> you exist to serve your Lord N, then why are you failing miserably at serving him? And why are you letting me get up the tower easily? No pass, yeah. More surfing. Surf, 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 surf. You probably have sturdy. No, you didn't have sturdy. Wow, okay. I don't know why you didn't have 30. There's Callum gaining a level to level 40 or 32. There's Callum's stats for you. He's pretty much terrible on the special end, but really good on a physical end, which sucks for water type attacks and grass type attacks. And hate that you have two quad weaknesses. Yanma. Oh, Yan Mega. Darn it. I was so excited because I thought it was a Yanma. Then I realized it was a Yan Mega, and then I was like, oh, well, can't really take out a Yan Mega because it's got speed boost and stuff. I mean, I would, I would love to take out a Yon Mega with like, we, but we have to um, rock blast. But we kind of can't right now. I mean, if it was Yonma, I totally would have. But it's a Yon Mega, and I just don't want to chance it. Uh, fake out. How much damage does Fake Out do? I mean, I know you're special. Oh wow. And then Shadow Punch. I don't. I know that's not super effective. I'm just doing it. U turn. Oh, who are you? What are you doing? Oh wait, it's not gonna work. He's not gonna U-turn. He's not gonna be able to do that. Okay, never mind. I totally thought it was gonna work and do stuff. It didn't. Um, so Yanma is gonna go down at 891 and 1230. We defeated her, so that's fine with me. I love how these are all required trainer battles, because that really helps me train up um, my Pokemon. So, what do we got here? Primate. Yikes, not good at all. Szechuan. Oh, I guess it's just, it's fine with me. I mean, Eruption's still like 140 base power, and it doesn't change the fact that I can still use it very effectively. It probably won't kill. Oh, nope, never mind, it does kill. It does kill. That's great, actually. Uh, Szechuan 743, Callum 1029 experience, and Szechuan is gaining HP with leftovers. I love how defensive it is. Corsola, we are 100% switching out into Braxton on this. Braxton can take this one. I'm sorry, Szechuan, but I'm not putting you out of quad when your quad res your moves quad get quad resistant. Um, so Corsola is actually technically a fully evolved Pokemon, which I totally forgot about. But Bullet Seed is gonna Oko unless it hits twice. I think. Oh no! Ha! It only takes one shot. <laughs> uh, Callum 861, and what else do we got? Dust Ox. Another Dust Ox, hey? You're level 30, I mean. It's level 37. Probably not gonna have anything crazy. Come on, come on, Callum. Callum can take it out. I mean, it's level, like I said, if it wasn't level 37, then I would be like wary, but it's level 37. We kind of demolish. X Scissor. Look at that. L look at that damage. Nothing. Look at this damage. Boom. Hit, hit five times, please. You hit twice. You literally hit the minimum amount of times, and that would have you would have survived if you didn't hit the... And look, see, he does nothing. We could have ro we could have belly drummed and probably been fine. But Callum, you hit one time. That's fine. 1747, you're level 33, so you're going to catch up pretty quickly to the squad, I think. I just wish you had, like, Earthquake or something. You needed, you needed some good ground stab. That's what, I, that's what you need, honestly. Oh, no, let me get down there. Let me get down there. We got some Zinc. Which will help defense, I think. We have not found anything to do. 
Oh yes, let's go. Items, 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 items. Here we come. Items, items, items. Here we come. Okay, one item there. Red flute, not gonna do anything for us. Whatever. Um, and then down, down, down. Can't go that way. Down. There, we can go this way though. Black flute. Oh my gosh, that's bad. That is bad, 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 bad. Okay, over. Down. Jump this bridge. Down. Up. Nab this. It's a power weight, which is going to do absolutely nothing. A lot of items that are doing absolutely nothing. I love that there's no encounters here. I don't have my repel up at anything, so we're going to just run through this pretty easily. Oh no, more? It's shocking! It sounds like there's something going on at the top of the tower. What was that even supposed to be? We found a hyper potion. Oh! It's finally time our Lord N will become the hero. What? Someone made it clear up here? Now! Stop that trainer for our Lord N! Everyone who wants, who isn't Team Plasma is an enemy. Use all your powers to take them out. No one can interfere with you, Nova's new dawn. I'm ready for a gauntlet. I got an idea from this game and put it in my game. So then they're there, they're there, they're level 38. I mean, easy, 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 easy. Easy, 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 easy. 150 base power. No problem at all. No problem at all. Bye bye, Frostlast. And you're dead. And Szechuan is level 34. Or, ugh, 44. Um, Callum hopefully is going to raise a level soon. And look at that. Fully healed now. Starly, we're switching. Callum? You better be able to take out a star early. It has terrible moves. I know from experience. I know from experience it's got pretty bad moves. So you can take out a star early. Rock blast it up. And Starly goes bye bye. And Callum, you're level 33, which is good for right now. You're also gonna get 649 from this. So hopefully he's gonna he's gonna raise up the ranks pretty fast. Sheesh, I can't believe I lost to a kid. But Team Plasma is more than one person. Our dream is about to come true. No one will be able to stop us. I think I will be able to stop you. Unless you have like a stupid broken Pokemon, which in a randomizer is possible. You got a whooper. Oh, that's not stupid and broken. <laughs> that is the opposite of stupid and broken. Um, although we do not want to have Szechuan out here. We'd rather Braxton out here. And I love the fact that we have two starters from um, not Ho and Jonto. Or Jodo. Jonto. Jonto! No. We have two Pokemon. That's two starters from um, Jonto, oh, Jonto and or Jodo. I keep calling it Jonto. And if we get for Alligator, I'm gonna laugh. We have all three of them on my team. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Hit one time. Move painted. 107 for Braxton. 293 for Callum. And we defeated that guy. He was easy. Here I come, Plasma! I think we're going to defeat you too. Anyway, this is pretty easy so far. you got two mons. Your first one is a Sun Kern. <laughs> You've got a Sun Kern. Uh, say hello to my little friend, Szechuan Sauce with Explosion. Blaze kick the thing. Bye-bye. We don't need the eruption you. I know that Blaze Kick will kill. Um, 174, 237 for Callum. And then we have a Mantike, which means that that is a not fun. That's not fun for us at all. Um, so I'm going to go to Braxton. I think Braxton's going to be the best mod to take it out. Because, I mean, I know it's water flying. I know it's part flying. So it sucks. But it's a Mantike. It's not Mantine. So it's not fully evolved. I'm sure it won't do too much damage. Bullet Seed should just get most of it done. Most of it taken care of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. 
it does get it taken care of all the way, actually. And, well, 333. I wish that we didn't have, like, bullet seed. I think we, I wish we kind of had a better move, but it's okay. Bring it on. You can take, can you take four in a row? Uh, well, if you're having the Pokemon that you do right now, yes, pretty easily. But if you have good Pokemon, then no. Uh, Macargo. Hey, Num Nexus. You're a part of Team Plasma too? Like, ah, oh, that sucks to be you then. I'm sorry that you have to be surfed to death. I mean, that's quad effective, and I have a fire type. So, and speaking of broken, like, exactly, fire type with a water type attack. Uh, 734 for Szechuan, 1005 for Callum. There's level 34 for Callum, who is really not learning anything, and it's kind of frustrating. Oh, wait, Mudshot. Uh, forget a move, please. Mudshot is, oh, it's a special attack. No, no, thank you. Keep all moves. And give up on Mudshot, yes. It is not for me. If it was Earthquake, I would have totally switched in an instant, but it's not. Thanks for letting me go through. Don't copyright me for this, Nintendo. I'll be pissed if you do. What do you think, John? How do you like the powerful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights beside the hero that will lead the way to a new world? Now, Zekrom, I will head to the Pokemon League and defeat the champion. This will be the last of the Pokemon battles that hurt Pokemon so. A world for Pokemon alone. It is finally going to be a reality. If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. That's right. When Zekrom's counterpart, Reshiram, recognizes you, we will finally be able and to be, will be finally be even, and then you can try and stop us. Well, what will you do? My prediction in the future, if the future that I see is true, you will meet Reshiram, the Pokemon with you believe in you so strongly. Will you be the one who interferes with my formula and changes the world? My voice is super quiet when I do N's voice, so I am super sorry. I will go away from the closer to the mic. If you want to protect the bonds between Pokemon and people, you must search for Reshiram. I'm sure it is waiting for you in the form of the Lightstone. And then I fly away. John, did you see what just flew off you just now? How could this happen? Why? That what that guy N, right? Why was he with the legendary Pokemon? He couldn't really be the hero, could he? Also, I did I hear him tell you to search for the other legendary Pokemon? Calm down. We first must go back. It is more important to decide what to do next than analyze what just happened. Astounding! I would never have imagined the legendary dragon type would return now. That guy called N. The Team Plasma's bot apparently reawakened the Pokemon. He told John to look for the other legendary Pokemon and then flew away. Huh? There are two legendary dragon type Pokemon? Like, oh my god, I can't believe it! Yes, yes, there are. Oh! It's Alder. Why if it isn't Alder? It has been a while. Have you been well? No time for chit chat! Those violent flashes of lightning! That shot from the tower, the Pokemon, and the power! That Pokemon has the power to destroy the world! If the Team Plasma side and Team Plasma tells everyone to release their Pokemon, no matter whether it comes from fear or admiration, the world can't stop betraying- can't help but change. It will appear that the world would we are- we were separated from Pokemon. Right. Moreover, the boss of Team Plasma and who awakened Zekrom apparently said, to look for the other Pokemon Reshiram. If I remember the myth, Zekrom's powerful electricity, along with the other Pokemon's devastating ancient, devastated ancient Unova in an instant, and we, even knowing that, N is still wanting to awaken the other. Huh? Isn't it dangerous to bring back that powerful Pokemon? 
Miss, you are a very kind person. But still, I didn't read any of that. Because no matter what, it is a legendary beating. Being. I don't like the idea of taking orders from N, but searching for the Dragon Stone might not be a bad plan. We can't let Team Plasma reawaken both of them. Since I've traveled all over Unova, I have an idea where it might be. Let's head to the Royal Castle, John. Everyone, I'm going. I see. We'll leave that to you. I'm hope going to investigate the other side of the tower. Hopefully, we can find something. Then, I will go with you. I think I understand better now. Being able to do something for Pokemon is something for somebody at this time. It's strength. I'm sure of it. And my folk, my strength is something that is given to me by Pokemon. Okay, champion. Let's hurry. John, this has turned into a big deal. It's so confusing. I don't know what to do. Are you going to the Relic Castle, John? It's past Route 4 in the desert result. I heard it's where the Relic Castle is. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you're going. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. Ah. Sorry, it's me making fun. It's me making fun of... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's me making fun of Bianca. Anyway, we have our next objective. We know where we're supposed to be going. Um, leveling up is just fine the way it is right now. Callum's level 34, and hopefully, like I said, we can get Callum kind of acclimated to what he's supposed to do. And once we can level him up a little bit more using the experience share, we will. Um, but let's just fly and get to the Relic Castle and end the episode right then and there. Because I want to end the episode not at a Pokemon Center this time. For once in my life, I'm not ending it on a Pokemon Center. See... Can I just, I just wish I could fly to the Rock Castle, but no, you have to go to Nabossal, you have to blah, 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 go everywhere. Like, I could totally fly to the Relic Castle right now. I mean, it says, that it points to the Relic Castle. I don't know why you can't fly there. Anyway, let's spray another repel, because we're definitely going to need it after getting in, getting out. But, hey, I mean, we didn't lose them on. I mean, we're at nine deaths. Our level limit is 49, so I am 100% going to have to. I can only... Per Oh, wait, we got something. We got other items. Okay. I only can presume presume that we would need... Um, you were the Ho-Oh trainer. I would only assume that we would need something um, in a later part portion. But, yeah, we're just running to the Relic Castle right now, which is just fine by me. Wait, you guys don't give me something, do you? No. I wish you did, because that would be great. But they don't. But it's okay. We have, we have, we already have our encounter in the Relic Castle. That has already happened. It is, that was, um, Sharpedo, Sharp, Sharpedo. Um, he was our Relic Castle encounter. Repel's effect wore off. I don't really care at this point. We're already almost at the Relic Castle anyway. Right here. Well, as you see, we're at the Relic Castle. And we have to do something. Stop. John. That is the entrance to the Lord Castle. You are impressive, John. You made it here before me. Dealing with the Desert Resort Pokemon took a little longer than I would have thought. I only made it all the way here thanks to my Pokemon. All the way ahead. Let's hurry. Can't we, like, fight these Pokemon? No. Okay, anyway. So, long story short, we have this section of the Relic Castle to do. We will see you in the next episode. Uh, and you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye! Yeah.